Okay, it's almost nine o'clock. It's 8.50 a.m. and I got up about half an hour ago. And it's a what I ate in a day. Now, this time I'm doing another what I ate in a day collaboration with my friend Iman or Iman Makeup on YouTube. You may know her because she's beautiful and very talented as a makeup artist and she is a vegan and we connected at VidCon um, and I haven't seen her in a while because she used to be based in Toronto and then she moved to Los Angeles. She's been doing the YouTube thing longer than me and she's got great makeup tutorials and all kinds of tips there but she also does what I ate in a day because she shows a lot of her lifestyle as well. Now the thing about Iman's what I ate in a day is they're totally different than mine and I thought she's a friend of mine I'm gonna let you know about her what I ate in a day is because they're different and I think that if you aren't quite on board with so much of the cooking that I do, even though I know I'm encouraging a lot of you to cook, Iman actually keeps saying it's pretty simple. Any cooking she's doing is very easy and quick. She eats a lot of fresh fruits and veggies, drinks a lot of water. She's like, she's on top of it. You know me, I'm not like necessarily on top of it all the time. So I think that it's a good balance. And I think that if you're looking for something slightly different than what I offer, Iman is a good choice because she's really fun to watch. So go check out her channel. Um, she's gonna be making something from Hot For Food, I believe, on her What I Ate In A Day today. So go watch her What I Ate In A Day as well, which I'll link here. I'm gonna be trying to show Iman how to make a really quick and simple pasta sauce which I'm going to make for dinner I'm gonna like think about it a little bit I don't even know what I'm gonna make but she doesn't do a lot of cooking so I don't want this to be like labor intensive for her so you're gonna get a new pasta idea tonight but we got to think about breakfast right now and for that I'm feeling smoothie life um, I got lots of stuff I can blend up so let's see what we can throw together and uh, make it to a smoothie all right, it looks like I have the makings of my green mango smoothie. I have leftover mango that I cut up a while ago and froze. I got leftover spinach. I got lime, ginger. I don't quite remember what's in my green mango smoothie recipe from Hot For Food. We can check, but I think this will just be a variation of that. There was an article that came out last week that was about how dirty your water bottles are after like one day. Dirtier than a toilet. There's like over half a million germs or bacteria cultures or something on it. So you're supposed to wash it every day. I never wash mine, but I did wash it yesterday. I don't know. It's probably why I got sick last week. All right, let's make this smoothie. So we're doing a frozen banana, one and a half. You need use all this mango. This was a whole mango. It's gonna be a lot of smoothie. Okay, I'm gonna do half of a lime. I'm gonna do this little piece of ginger, spinach, coconut water, and I'm gonna also add almond milk, and hemp hearts. Okay, this made a lot and it's real thick. I had to add a lot more liquid, but uh, we'll go with this. It's almost smoothie bowl flavor or like banana ice cream. I have to eat it with a spoon. Okay, well this is gonna take me 10 hours to consume. I didn't really mean to make it this thick. I don't know, I keep trying to do smoothies, but lately I just like don't feel like eating cold stuff. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Like lately everything cold that I've been putting into my body, I'm like, Ugh. Like even I had a beer last night and I was like, I couldn't even really drink it because it was cold and I didn't like it. It's like I just want hot tea or something. <laughs> it's happening to me. <laughs> uh, okay, well. I'll try and have this. And we'll see where the day takes me. All right, we're at 10.40 a.m. and it's time for coffee and something warm because I really, could not deal with that cold thing this morning. So the rest of the smoothie's in the fridge. I'll probably drink it later, maybe, or tomorrow. It'll still be fine. And if not, I can just blend it with ice and it will be fine. But we're doing coffee and maybe oatmeal, maybe. All right, my best friend here. Timer, four minutes, and I feel like oatmeal is gonna be so filling. 
but it might be good with like almond butter and maple syrup. That's like really all I want. Okay, so we'll just do that quickly. I gotta get a refill here. So I usually like empty out all the stuff into jars. I'm using the gluten-free rolled oats from Bob's Red Mill. So for all you gluten-free peeps, they're not contaminated. I'm not gluten-free, but I do buy them so that when I'm baking things for other people, I don't have to worry about it. I don't want too much. We'll add some cinnamon in there. And we'll let it boil. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. It is Monday, not Wednesday when you're watching this. I'm just making this look pretty for fun so that I can like, I don't know, enjoy my day more. So I like my oatmeal not super thick. I like it liquidy, so I'm also gonna add almond milk in there. Let's do some walnuts. Some chias. Let's do a few pumpkin seeds. Some maple syrup. I'm gonna add a bunch of peanut butter on the top right there. It's crunchy. And just an extra little prettiness. Some coconut there. All right, we got coffee. and almond milk that I'm adding in to the bowl. All right, warm breakfast. Adding the almond milk into my oatmeal, so it's like hot and cold, and into my coffee. Mmm. I just mix it all up now. That feels so much better than eating cold stuff. I don't know. I have to balance it out, I gotta switch it up. I do have smoothies at, you know, like a couple times a week. Or if I gotta get up early or if I'm feeling like not so great. But I still usually have to like balance it out with something warm after, which is usually coffee, but I like warm oatmeal sometimes. Not all the time, I get sick of it. Okay. Breakfast number two. Time to actually go work now. Well, sorry, I lost track of time, it's now four o'clock and uh, it's not quite dinner. I just need a snack. And what I have here is a whole pile of leftover pasta salad, the macaroni pasta salad from Hot for Food blog, and some quinoa that I mixed with parsley and tomato, kind of like a tabbouleh. I took it to my sister's house on the weekend because I had dinner there and it's pretty good cold. Mm. So I'm just gonna eat a little bit of this. We have to make pasta for dinner too because I'm showing Iman how to make a pasta sauce. So we'll just eat pasta twice. No big deal. Howdy, it's six o'clock. I guess it's time to make dinner. So Iman, I'm gonna show you how to make a white wine leek sauce. Um, it'll be like a light cream sauce, not heavy. Um, basically it'll be wine and leeks and garlic, lemon, salt, pepper, and uh, a little bit of non-dairy milk, just to give it a bit of a cream. But it's pretty light and good on any pasta. We're gonna do brown rice fettuccine because that's what I have. And so you need some white wine. You need some leeks. Some garlic, a lemon, maybe. We might not need the lemon, but just in case. And some non-dairy milk. I've got two kinds of almond milk here we're just gonna use up. And uh, we'll start cutting everything and throw it all in the pan. You're gonna cut that little bit off the leek. You're gonna cut this off. You're gonna cut them in half. And you're gonna wash all of this and get rid of any bad pieces. These are kind of going bad. You want to give them a good wash because there's usually sand kind of stuck in between so you can even let them soak for a bit in some water. And then we're going to cut up all of this into thin slices. All right, so that's about one whole leek right there chopped up. I'll save the rest. So we're going to do about three crushed cloves of garlic, which I will mince in a mincer when they're ready to go into the pan. 
I've added one to two tablespoons of olive oil to a pan with the leeks and I'm just sauteing over medium heat. Then you can add half a teaspoon of red chili flakes if you want a little bit of spice. And then saute this for a few minutes as the leeks get really soft. Then add in three cloves of crushed garlic. Also add a quarter teaspoon of salt and pepper. Then we're gonna add about half a cup of white wine. And you're gonna let this simmer for a while. We're also gonna add in a third of a cup of almond milk. You could also use soy milk, coconut milk. Now just let this simmer. It looks like a lot of liquid, but it's gonna reduce. When the pasta is almost done cooking, add in a quarter cup of the pasta water. That's gonna help thicken it. Then drain your pasta. Don't rinse it or take it right out of the pot with a slotted spoon or a pair of tongs and put it directly in the pan. Lower the heat and toss around for a few minutes to coat the noodles in the sauce and to get it all combined and warm. If you wanna make a really quick homemade parm, which would be nice on this, all you have to do is add two tablespoons of raw cashews to a coffee grinder. You can also like triple this and do it in a food processor and then store it, but I'm just doing it quickly here. Three tablespoons of nutritional yeast and lots of sea salt. That can kind of be to taste, but a teaspoon is good. This also works with almonds and pistachios, any kind of hard nut. So the pasta doesn't come out too saucy, but it's very flavorful. I'm gonna add some fresh tomato on top. And lots of our parm. And there you go. That was super fast. Uh, hopefully you like this one, Iman. I suggest eating it with uh, some wine because you're gonna open the bottle of wine to cook with it anyway, so hopefully you're gonna drink it. Share it with your man. I'm gonna drink it in celebration of Wine Wednesday, which you're watching this on Wine Wednesday. And I know I always am using that Go Veggie Parm. Sometimes that's just easy, but making your own homemade parm is an option, and I do that sometimes. We've made it with pistachios before. Uh, you, may as, you may have known it as our pistachio crust duster on Hot For Food. Mmm. So good. Now people always want a replacement for wine. There is no replacement for wine. Just kidding. You can use vegetable stock. Um, you're not gonna get the same flavor profile, so you might wanna add a little bit of lemon juice, like a little bit, just to bring out uh, some acidity. But we didn't need it when we're using white wine. Oh yeah, this is really good. Mmm. All right, Iman, I wanna see your photo when you make this white wine leek cream sauce with your pasta. You could add other veggies in there if you want broccoli, spinach, if you want more greens, but it's pretty classic just like this. Um, and if you guys make it, let me know what you think as well. This is almost like a hot for food video. Definitely go check out Iman's channel. It's linked below and here in the cards. She is awesome. You're gonna love her what I ate in a days as a compliment to mine because they are different, but I feel like they go well together. Some days you're gonna eat like Iman. Some days you're gonna eat like me. It's all good. Vegan is everything. So. Mm, I can't stop eating. Food dance. That's it. Hope you like this uh, second, second? Yeah, second What I Ate in a Day collab with him on makeup, my friend in Los Angeles. Hopefully I'm going to Los Angeles soon because I miss it. It's super fun. Mm, and when I do, we can do a video together. All right, I'm outie. Who says that? I'm Audi. Unless, of course, I eat something else. You're beginning to see a pattern with all of these, aren't you? I think I've made pasta the last like three or four videos in a row. Um, but I don't think you have a problem with that. Might as well finish it off.